Hey gals and guys, Christine Maggi here. I have done a video in the past on working in graphic design versus working in UX design. It is one of my most popular videos, so I think you'll like it. And now that I've been doing strictly UX for a bit, I wanted to give you an updated version of that video explaining more of the differences that I see between graphic design and UX design and which one I'm personally liking a lot more these days. <laughs> If you are new here, welcome. I am currently a senior UX designer and I started out actually in graphic design. And so I've learned a lot about the differences between working in a more traditional graphic design place and more towards the product design side. There's a lot of things that are different. So graphic design, I would summarize it as being designed for strictly graphic things. Obviously, that's yes. Graphic design is visual, it's something that you can see. The main purpose of graphic design is to create awareness, to send a message or to get someone to take an action. Graphic design also says a lot about where that message is coming from, be that a product, a service, a company, or a brand. And while it does or at least should consider the final audience, it is much more about that product, that service, that brand, or company than about the final audience, or at least 50-50. So think of advertising, branding, political signage, viral social media graphics, packaging design, etc. All of these things are using the design of graphics to convey a message from one entity to the final audience. And while brands evolve and graphic styles and trends change over time, most design projects are pretty short-lived. So they're meant to serve a purpose, get that message out there, and then once it's out there, your work's kind of done, right? So think of a billboard that's advertising a movie. It's gonna be out before the movie comes out, maybe while it's in theaters, but then once that movie's out of theaters, it makes no sense anymore to have that billboard, right? So graphic design projects tend to be more short-lived. Now, moving on to UX design. While visuals are certainly a part of UX design, there is a lot, lot more that goes into it than just simply the visuals. In UX, we consider the entire experience of the user or customer that is going to be using that design. So these are things like, what do they need? What are they trying to do? What problems do they have? What context are they going to be engaging with this design? What environment are they gonna be in? What are they looking for? All of these things go into the holistic experience of user experience design. A big point of difference is that it's much less focused on making the product or the brand or the company look great and more about solving the problems and meeting the needs of those end users, which as a side effect will make the company look great, but that's not the primary focus or reason behind user experience design. So like I said, how a lot of graphic design projects can be a bit short-lived, UX is never truly over. A good user experience designer will constantly monitor how the user is interacting with the experience, find ways to improve it, evolve it over time, maybe by adding new features, maybe by making it even more easy to use and simplistic, solving unforeseen problems, or making it even more seamless. It's never quite one and done. You rarely put something out there and then don't ever hear or see it again. UX is also not so much about sending a message, but solving a problem. For example, Uber or Lyft very popular ride-sharing apps, right? They're not so much about getting their name out there, getting their brand built, and making them look really cool so you wanna buy and use their services. No, their primary focus is on solving the problem of people needing to hail a car really quickly to go from point A to point B. UX doesn't have to be digital either. In fact, most of the user experiences you encounter on a daily basis are not digital. So. Think about the design of a really good chair, for example. Someone considered how high up it is, how comfortable it is, if it moves, if it's sturdy, if it has a cushion, what it's made out of, how it will fit with the other pieces of furniture in your home. And so all of the things that you interact with to some degree or another have a user experience in them. User experience is something that you come across all the time with every product, every object, everything you interact with without you really realizing it. And maybe that's a big point, is graphic design is there to be seen and to be known and good user experience is almost invisible. You can almost not even notice it 
or recognize that it's there. So as for me, and now that I've done Strictly UX for a little while, I am just amazed about everything that I learned during the UX process that I never really considered when I was just doing graphic design. From sitting down with users and interviewing them, from the behavioral psychology principles that we use in our work, testing every single design I put out, considering all the different types of people that are gonna be interacting with what I'm making and what their unique needs are and how I might help them. I feel like I understand them and I just care so much more about them than I ever thought about when I was doing strictly graphic design. And while I still love graphic design, I will always appreciate it, I found that a lot of the work that I ended up doing in agencies and so on was marketing or sales related. And Personally, I'm not super big into sales. That might just be me, but I had a hard time coming to terms with using my skills and my time to further businesses or products that I didn't fully believe in. Also now with how crazy social media is and the amount of advertisements we see on a daily basis, that whole world is something that I'm not super interested in or necessarily wanna be a part of. And I found that a lot of the graphic design work was kind of heading in that direction for me. I also think that my particular skill set fits a little bit better with UX. I have never been an amazing artist, I'm a terrible drawer, and while I think I'm a creative person, I don't think I'm creative in the way a really great graphic designer is. A lot of you out there are amazing artists and you're very creative people, and graphic design is an amazing place to put those skills to use. And we need more of you, we need that talent. Like I said, not everybody has it. Just for me personally, my skill set fits a little bit better with the improving or fixing or iterating of things instead of creating something completely new and visual that's never been done before. It's just hard for me. But mostly, I really like the fact that with UX, I can bring more value and more usefulness directly to the customer than I ever really could with graphic design alone. Please do not take this as me hating on graphic design or graphic designers, absolutely not. I was one, I still do it from time to time. This is just my personal preference and reasons why I'm really glad I found UX and that this is another avenue for creative people to use their skills in a slightly different way. I don't think I'll ever truly leave graphic design behind because I love, love, love visual design and honestly, it's just really fun. And if you love graphic design, you love making stuff, absolutely go do that, go. But I do think if you're kind of considering, you know, which one do I do? Do I do graphic design? Do I do UX design? Maybe this gives you a little more insight into the differences between the two. As always, I would love to hear what you think down in the comments. If you agree with me, if you disagree with me, I'd like to hear that too. I always try to bring kind of two sides to the table and then my personal takeaway and let you come up with your own conclusions. So I'd love to know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful and I will see you in the next video. Bye.